what's up friends welcome back it's been a while uh, i took a little break in summer because uh, i was very busy very very busy i probably had the most stress that i ever had in my life and i want to talk a little bit about it and yeah let's do some catching up using the rico i'm able to achieve my goals this is it guys street photography holy grail <laughs> Damn, she is pretty. Back in the city, take one. Feels good to be back in the city, Hamburg. Still my city that I want to document as a street photographer. So let's explore this city while I talk a little bit about what happened in summer. You must use the recall like this. So I only uploaded one video in two months, which is not something I'd like to do. I don't like to not post because, um, yeah, the algorithm doesn't like that. And I think consistency is very important on YouTube. I also got very comfortable not uploading, which is uh, scary for you guys. <laughs> kind of awesome for me, but uh, scary for, for you. So let me talk a little bit about why I was away in summer. You remember my Siegfried Hansen videos on my channel? Uh, one of the videos, the first one, totally blew up. It's the most watched video on my channel. And then uh, Xiaomi, the Chinese brand Xiaomi, saw that video, liked it so much that they reached out to Siegfried and asked him if he wanted to be part of a masterclass series. So they're doing this masterclass series with Leica photographers, it's supported by Leica. And then Siegfried reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to produce it because we have been working together um, very well. It's always good to work with someone you know, right? And then we started to um, communicate with the client and I thought I would just be the, the producer, the, the guy behind the camera. But then they also wanted me to be in front of the camera, which was a little weird for me at first because I thought it's a masterclass from Siegfried. Um, but then they also wanted to try a new format, something more exciting than just talking head and, and showing some examples. So they asked us to come up with a new concept or develop a new format together with them. And then we ended up deciding on um, doing a road trip through Germany, um, basically rediscovering um, cities we already know and taking photos using a Xiaomi smartphone, which was also a phone that wasn't out yet. So it was also connected to a big uh, product launch which just recently um, took place. It was the Xiaomi 13T Pro, if you want to know the camera or the phone, um, which is a phone that has uh, lenses engineered by Leica. So the camera is very good. And I personally don't like to use smartphones for photography or I'd never use my iPhone for photography um, because I have other cameras for that. I don't enjoy the experience. Um, but when I tried this uh, Xiaomi phone, I never had a phone with great lenses uh, on them. And also they included some Leica looks, some Leica filters, some uh, 50 millimeter bokeh, swirly bokeh uh, presets. And it was, actually, it was actually very nice. So yeah, by the time you're watching this, um, the whole masterclass should be out on their website. I will link it below in the video. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of stress because I, have, I had to took on so many roles. So I was co-starring in the masterclass. So I had to be in front of the camera. I was the producer, director, team manager, because we traveled with a small team. Also photographer, because I had to take photos with the smartphone. Uh, I had to do the storyboard, uh, making sure we have permits for everything. When we would come back to the hotel at night, I had to you know, do backups and basically make sure the data is safe. And then of course I had to take care of post-production. So editing, motion design and uh, translating everything in German and English uh, with subtitles. Yeah, it was a very time sensitive uh, job. I learned a lot. I grew a lot because of that. Made a few mistakes as well, but uh, we're not going to talk about it now. Uh, what's going on here? What the f To be honest, I almost said no because I knew for the time frame we had uh, would, would be very challenging. My wife had to give up her holiday so that I was able to work. So he, she had to also make a lot of sacrifices. And then, yeah, I had to pause my YouTube channel. Uh, the technology of the beginning of a small picture camera. The beginning. <laughs> and 
the, the end. end. <laughs> <laughs> and I finally got to uh, visit Laika. It's kind of funny because I tried so many times to, uh, to visit them. And it's funny that the first time I'm able to visit Laika is because China sends me to Laika. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, but I got to see um, the Lights Park and uh, learned a little bit about the history of mobile photography. Um, very interesting. So yeah, check out the masterclass videos and uh, let me know how you like them. Maybe in future videos I can talk a little bit about how, how the shoot went on, what we used, what kind of equipment. Uh, but I'm sure this is something I will discuss with my channel members because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it publicly. So if you want to become a member, uh, you can hear. Doing a POV, doing a POV. This uh, Alster River used to freeze, completely freeze uh, in winter, but nowadays it doesn't do that anymore. I wish I could go back in time and experience that again because I didn't really take enough photos. Protected? Not protected. Protected? Not protected. Okay, next topic is going to be a sad one because my, my favorite camera store, the place I go to, to try new gear, to test out things, to borrow gear, uh, is closing. And that's really, it, it's, it really hit me hard when I heard the news. And it's especially sad because I just started to, to work more with the camera store. We wanted to do some videos together. And I will go there right now to see if I can grab some bargains because they're doing a little bit of a sale now. Da. Moin, na? Grüß dich. Hey. Ah, hat er irgendwie auch gehofft, dass du hier bist. Ich habe Jan gefragt, er ist leider nicht da. Der Glückliche, du weißt, ja. wo er ist. Ja, in Barcelona. Ne? I'm really interested in this one. I don't have an M camera, but look at this beauty. So beautiful. Looky, someone is exhibiting his street photography work. Hmm, I wonder who he is. Seems like an amazing photographer. <laughs> this one I took in Tokyo, 2019. So one year before the 2020 Olympics were supposed to uh, start, but you know the story. Fujifilm X-H1, 23 F2, in case you want to know. Fujifilm X100F. Tokyo Ginza 2019. This is actually the camera from Ulysses. It's not my camera. But people, people often think that this is my camera. So this one I took in Berlin with my GR, GR3, with the 35 mm crop mode. And my wife was playing a piano for a workshop. And I was sitting next to her and I was really bored. And I was like, what should I do? I played with my camera. And then this was one of the snaps I took. And uh, it ended up being a photo I really like because it's kind of mysterious, you know. Everyone looks outside of the window. And the moment is kind of nice because they were all just jumping and I didn't know what I was taking. And then one frame ended up, <laughs> ended up looking like this. So this photo here I took in London in Hyde Park 2019, also with my GS3. Um, really lucky that I got this moment. I took this one. 7 a.m., 8 a.m. in the morning. One of my favorite photos for sure that I took on my GS3. Und jetzt gehen wir wieder rein. Yeah, so that was Meister Camera of Photo House. My favorite camera store, which is going to become a Leica store. Oh. It's the only camera store where you can have this atmosphere, where you can just sit, try camera gear, you know, the staff is always very friendly. They sometimes give you a discount. Yeah, really, really sad. And as you can see, my images are on the wall. That also happened totally by a coincidence. I was in the store once and I was telling them, you know, guys, you need some images on the wall. And then they uh, suggested to me, why don't we start with you and uh, show, your, show your work? Of course, I accepted it. And the concept is that they have six 
six prints outside and six prints uh, facing inside. And because my street photography work is a little bit chaotic, like some is color, some is in black and white, I chose to show um, color outside and then uh, black and white uh, inside. Because also outside you see reflections and uh, it's easier to see the black and white photos inside. Uh, and the same images, the black and white uh, work, is also exhibited at the moment in Denmark uh, in a city called Esberg. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, together with the work from uh, Joshua Jackson, who you probably know. Uh, we never met in person, but uh, I'm a fan of his work. He's a great street photographer. And it was cool being asked to show my work there. Um, it's a photo festival in this city and it is inside a library. I haven't seen photos of it yet, but uh, I might go and visit it. It's not so far away from where I live. But yeah, it's very cool that my work is being printed and exhibited um, because I never really do exhibitions. I think you should do an exhibition when you have so something to show. And at the moment, I don't feel like I have uh, a body of work that I can show. I have, you know, a best of street photography, but it's not really deep, you know. So this is kind of my first solo exhibition here at Meister Camera, but it's just the best of. Um, if I do another one, then it has to be some project. Yeah. One thing I really miss about city life, kebab. We don't have this in the countryside. Once you don't have something anymore, you really start to miss it. Oh, and if you're in Mexico in October, you can also see uh, two prints of my work hanging at the Mexico Street Photo Festival. And Ulysses Aoki's work is also displayed. Uh, Stephen Leslie, Tatsuo Dutsuki, Julia Coddington, and a few more names I, I forgot. But yeah, really cool. The first international street photography festival in Mexico. Really honored to be part of it. So check it out if you're in Mexico. Wish I could be there because I've never been to Mexico. But yeah, it's a little, little too far. Okay, now I want to share with you my current street photography setup, 2023. Main camera, of course, Ricoh GS3. X. And I use a square hood uh, lens hood. Why do I use a square hood lens hood? Because it looks cool and it protects the lens and I have my GS3 X always around my neck and I have my GS3 in my jacket pocket or in my uh, pants pocket and recently I was in, in Rome and I met up with uh, Dante Sisofo. He's a really uh, great street photographer known for his color work, very layered, a lot like Alex Webb in a way and he started street photography around the same time when I started, so 10 years ago and uh, you can still see him on YouTube, but he went off the grid of social media. And on YouTube, he kind of went full Eric Kim mode. But he has been very active in my community, on my Discord server. And we have been chatting uh, online, but we never met. And then I was in Rome for a Rico GI event. Welcome to the secret society of GI shooters. <laughs> I invited him and then the next day on Sunday, uh, we hung out together to shoot together and you know every time I travel I try to do a video for my YouTube channel because you know it was my first time in Rome of course I should do a video I'm in this amazing city but at the same time if I do a video for my channel I'm not really enjoying or I'm not really present and especially when I want to take pictures so I took the selfish choice which was you know to shoot for myself to enjoy my day and not document it so I told Dante you know Let's just hang out. Let's, let's not make a video. I just want to take photos. And it ended up being the most fun I ever had on the street since I started street photography. Close second place is uh, when I was hanging out with Ulysses for the first time, shooting in Ginza. That was another very fun day. But uh, that Sunday in Rome with Dante was, was great. So thanks, Dante. Whoop. I haven't looked at the photos yet because it was mostly about being present and having fun. It's not so much about the result, uh, but I will try to show you some photos, some impressions, while I talk about a system, a workflow that works really well for me, and that's the GS3 and GS3X dual wheeled style street photography setup. <laughs> I really like to use my GS3X around my neck and then have my GS3 uh, on my wrist with a wrist strap. 
So I can take photos, you know, 28, I want to be flexible, mobile. And then whenever I want to take a photo more close up, I just do this and then I grab my GS3X and I can continue shooting. And every time I see a wider scene, I can switch back to the GS3. Very simple. And I set up my, both of my cameras the same way, monochrome, uh, black and white, shutter priority, auto ISO. I use the FN button to lock my exposure and then I use uh, touch to snap uh, focus release. That's the most uh, stealthy way to take photos in my opinion. You can just tap the camera and it doesn't even look like you're taking photos like this. It's, you know, you just tap. So yeah, highly recommend using both at the same time if you have both. I don't know, for some verticals I switch to the 40 and then when there's a chaotic layered scene like this, I switch to the 28. It's just nice. Yeah. How much easier does it get? It doesn't even like get in my way. That's what's awesome about it. Like it actually is so light that, yeah, it's not like it's overcumbering. So I just listened to a very interesting discussion about uh, AI in photography. It's organized by an organization that I'm also a member of. It's called Freelance. And it was very interesting because there were four or five professional photographers discussing um, the ethics and the future of uh, AI in photography. Of course, the photojournalists were totally against AI. But the fashion photographer actually said he doesn't mind AI because the photographer still has to do the thinking and to be creative, AI can be creative, but the, the two photojournalists didn't have the same opinion. They emphasized that AI is not photography and we should have a system in place where we uh, mark an authentic photograph as authentic and AI generated imagery as AI generated uh, imagery. I kind of agree. I don't think photography and AI is the same. Um, not totally against AI, but what the f is going on? Today my GoPro is really weird. So, just came out of the building. Behind me is where the presentation was, the art space. And it's called Jupiter, or Jupiter, which is kind of funny because our electronic store here we have is called Saturn. So we have Saturn and Jupiter. I also met uh, Marco Larus, who is uh, also the founder of the German Street Photography Festival. And that's also something that happened um, in September. The festival took place at a photo fair called Photopia, which is uh, Germany's last or only uh, camera fair at the moment. It was my first time also being there. And I did a presentation for the German Street Photography Festival. My specific topic was about how I changed as a street photographer before COVID and you know what happened during the pandemic, how I moved out of the city, became a more, I don't know how to explain it, but I had to change my street photography approach. And I filmed my uh, talk, my presentation, it's on my German channel. So if you can speak German, you can watch it on my German channel. Uh, I was also giving suggestions what to do as a street photographer, living in the countryside. It was a great experience because I haven't done that many presentations yet, but you know, every time you do a presentation, it's one more presentation you have in your portfolio, right? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, so that's the end of this video. Just wanted to say that I'm still alive. I will be back posting more regularly. I have uh, lots of videos coming up on the street with Julie Hudova. I just filmed an episode in Rome special guest you will see uh, and I have a few more topics I want to talk about.
I have a little special camera coming in mid-October. You probably know what I'm talking about. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Stay great, stay curious. And remember, two cameras are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's so simple. Simplify everything. Okay, see you in the next one. Now when they see us on the street, all they want to do is take pics. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs>